Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So as always, we're working on the Mark II Focus ST since fitting the custom BC callovers. Now you would have seen, if you'd seen the video that's linked right up in this corner, that last time when we set it up, we lowered it and we were a little bit dubious as to how to lower it to the level that we really wanted. Now, although it drives amazingly, I want to slam the car. So we bought the callover adjustment tools. I'm here with Alan, who's just off camera right now, and we're going to be getting it done together. Now, if you don't know already, he's the finger blasting world champion. <laughs> So for that matter, he's going to be really good at getting these tools around the callovers to adjust them to the level we want. So all I can say is sit back and relax. It's horrible weather outside and uh, we'll go and get this done. GC and the PT roll the intro. Peace. Right, Alan, just, um, just to be safe, why don't we measure from the top of the wheel arch down to the top of the alloy? We can write it all down, that way we know exactly how much we're lowering it by. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously I plan on slamming the car, but at the same time as you know, to anyone watching the video, drive shafts in these cars with running high torque, you know, they are susceptible to braking, so it is quite sensible that we do this thing properly. So, we'll take measurements, we'll write it down, and uh, we'll go from there. So, what are we looking at here, yeah. from the top of the alloy to the top of the wheel arch, at the moment? Yeah, it's just over 80, so 82 mil. 82 at the moment. mil. All right, oh, so. Maybe 85 mil. Ideally, 85 mil. I'd like to lower it 15, 20 mil. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think that'd be spot on. Yeah. yeah so we'll let's measure all round. We'll write that down. Stand, yeah. And um, we'll uh, jump cap to all the measurements. Right, just while Alan gets the, uh, the car on the lift, what we're going to do, we've measured the front. So the front sides are both 80 mil, and the rears are between 82 and 83. I'm not sure why he's written 85. But either way, what we're going to do now is we're going to load the car, we're going to slam the car, make it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing than it is now. But all the same, we're going to get that done and uh, we'll join you guys once the car is on the ramp. Right, so, yeah. here we are guys. We're obviously inside the, uh, inside the car a little bit more now. As we can see, obviously BC Racing callovers, we've got the hell braided brake lines and we're running EBC brakes. Obviously we've got the H&R um, spaces as well, so obviously they're on too. But the aim of the game today is to lower with these tools with the little adjustment pieces yeah. up the top so that's what we need to do i think we measured 80 millimeters that it's currently sat at yeah and we want to lower it um, a decent amount by adjusting yeah, the preload on the spring we will try and get down at least maybe an increments of 10 see how it looks whether we're going to get any rubbing so yeah slacken these off come down these threads and the car's naturally going to sit lower so awesome so let's go ahead go. and do that now guys just to be warned obviously connected to the hub here is the drive shaft so it is super important to make sure that you don't go low enough that you do actually uh, negatively affect the angle between the gearbox itself and the drive shaft. So we're trying to lower it, make it look nicer, but at the same time not have it so low that it negatively affects my driving ability and negatively affects the, the longevity of the drive shaft that I've recently had fitted by Matt Lewis Motorsport. So um, just while the finger blasting world champion gives it another <laughs> rub down, um, we'll get to it and uh, start adjusting. Right, so obviously just as a little bit of a precaution beforehand, obviously Alan's got the wire brush out and given a little bit of a clean just to make it that bit easier. Yeah, now we don't want all that grime getting stuck underneath the adjustment pieces, so it's just made a lot of sense to do it this way. Now Alan, I would like to apologise to the video and to yourself, because in the last video, I don't know if you noticed, I call you Andy. I know, it cracked me up. I was hoping maybe you could throw in another couple of names in there as well. <laughs> To be honest, who calls a I kid? I felt so bad, because I'm so bad with <laughs> names anyway. Who looks at a child and goes, oh, that child looks like an Alan? I mean, <laughs> nobody. Okay, we may as well jump onto that discussion while we're doing this. Yeah. There are certain names that you hear, um, especially in the UK, that I think to myself, what drugs would the parents have been on <laughs> to have given birth to this child, looked at it and been, you know what? She really looks like a Sue. This person looks like a Margaret. Or Karen. Or a Gertrude, or a Karen, you know. Or the yeah, yeah. Susan, like... <laughs> okay. No, I'm a big fan of the old English-British names. Obviously, yeah, I know yeah. I'm called George, but things like Sophie, Chloe, Hannah, George, oh, Alex, God. Richard, all those kind of names. Um, I don't know if that makes me sound really posh, but at the same time, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. But yeah, um, let's, let's get adjusting and uh, see what kind of uh, improvement we can make. Now, obviously, I can't get in there with him, too. It's a little bit of a small space. It'd be nice if you tried, but... Well, there's four no, wheels yeah. to do. We can do two each. Yeah, yeah, do two each, yeah. But no, we don't need to sit on each other's knees. They are coming down now. There we go. So I start, took 10 mil off and bring them together, tighten them up together to lock them and see where she sits. 
see there that it wasn't really preloading as much. So maybe we will get a full 10 mil, we'll see. Okay, now I'll lock them together. So what we can do then is measure the, measure the difference between the bottom piece and the piece that you're tightening up now. That's it. And then obviously replicate that on the front on the other side. So that's what yeah. we'll do. And that keeps them nice and even then. To those of you wondering what my review is on having these coilovers, um, go over a bump, you'll feel it. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the handling on this now is next level, absolutely insane. But now I'll just give you an idea. Obviously I've jumped out of the way now with the light, so I'll move that for you. But just to give you an idea, that's what it looks like now. We've probably got a little bit more than a finger's worth. So yeah, we'll uh, replicate that on the other side and uh, we'll see how it looks. There we go. Right, it's obviously fresh tires, so they're still in good nick. Not doing too badly in that respect. Yeah, there's no uneven wear or anything, so it doesn't indicate any dodgy issues with the bushes. They've all been replaced. Yeah, so we're all good to go. Yeah. Try to prevent it from binding and causing any damage. Get that sexy BC Racing sticker to cover that. That's it, BC. Right. Bit more. Like so. Okay, so now it's just sat against it perfectly like so. I can take the smaller piece and tighten that. There we go, nice and tight. That's it. That's it. So obviously now we can sit the wheels on yeah, and just go about nice. seeing how much it has lowered it. Now just to double check. 20 mil, exactly. Spot on there, 20 mil. Let's get the wheels on. Right, the moment of truth. Sit this up properly. Before we lower it down, what was the little tip that you just gave me off camera? Okay, even though we've set both shocks now to the equal distance, so they should be equal preload, when the car comes down and the weight's on it, the difference between the wheel arches may be slightly different and the reason for that can be corner weighted so where the manufacturers put the car battery how the engine has been offset you may have more weight naturally to one side than the other and again that's something you want to set up with scales and a racing company if you're going to track it okay perfect. day to day not so much of a problem right guys this really is the moment of truth let's just see how low the car sits i'll pop the camera down let me just one second let me just make sure that they can see everything yeah. it really is Nerve racket. <laughs> it's definitely made a difference. Okay, so the lift's not taken anyway, you can measure that. Okay. So yeah, I guess we need to measure it now. So obviously, what was it set before? 80? Or 83? Uh, 82 to 85. 82 to 85, okay. So. Do you want it? You may as well. Yeah. Right, so, moment of truth. From the top of the wheel arch, all the way down, we are talking 75. So it's only gone down. It's a 10, 10 mil. mil. We moved to yeah. 10 mil, we've got 10 mil. Okay, so yeah. yeah That's so, it, guys. Yeah. It's gone down 10 mil. Yeah. Okay, so. We've actually gone down 10 mil thanks to this uh, lovely little tape measure. But yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. Yeah, so front. yeah, yeah, we moved it down. Obviously, it's gone down 10 mil on the front. I didn't want it to go down crazy though. But if we have a look at this side as well, just to double check. Yeah, let's measure that side, yeah. Obviously, we'll get the tape measure on this one too. Now, slightly, there we go. 75. Alright, guys, it's about time we get the rears done as well. Obviously, we've done 10 mil on the front. Let's get the car jacked up and see what we can do regarding the rear of the car. Do you even lift? Definitely do not lift enough to be lifting this car. I would actually quite like to weigh the car at some point and uh, see how much the, difference we can make with weight reduction. Yeah, with the corner weights and scales and stuff, you can, you can really alter the handling of the car. Oh, I bet. I don't doubt it. Right, let's go. 
That's all good. Now, guys, just before we go ahead and do the rear, rear um, adjustment, the other day, I don't know if you noticed, this is a pain in the bum. We're gonna take that out. <laughs> this is incredibly annoying. Guys, just before we go ahead and do the rear adjustment on the coilovers, if you watched a video the other day, one of the 10 pound fixes, this thing is creating too much noise. And now looking at it, I noticed that it's actually completely come off. The screws come out. So if I, if I get the light out now, I'll just get the camera off the tripod and we'll show them. So haters, I'm expecting you to jump inside the comments right now, but look, as you can imagine, on a tight car with suspension like mine, going over anything is gonna cause issues. Now the carbon collector is just in the way as well, but it makes sense to take this out. Now with this as well, look at that. It's obviously come loose. So it's gonna be causing issues. It's completely disconnected from that. Is there any way we can get that and hold it in place, do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon we could probably tie wrap it or use bigger washers because it's cracked around the washer and it's yeah. just come down. That'll make a big difference. Hard, yeah. So we'll yank this one out, seeing as this is completely pointless. Yeah, it's not um, gonna protect the tank. Right, think of all the way. stress you've had over the last couple <laughs> of weeks. Take it out on that heat shield. <laughs> Do I need to mention my dad? Your like dad? Is your dad a pain in the bum? He's, he's a bad man. He's not as nice as your dad. Your dad's lovely. My dad's so a legend. He is a legend. We should get him down here. <laughs> he would. Yeah. Oh, no, it came off of my hands. You're so strong. So, uh, yeah. I, do, I don't skip leg day. Right. Okay. He's doing nothing, is he? Away with you. Get away. What did you say? It was Oculus? Repair us. Yeah, so this is where all this wretched out. noise is coming from though. I mean, what's that heat shield actually doing? It's that particular just, one? Yeah, just keeping the boot cool, but no one's in the boot. Are you got any bodies in the boot you want to keep warm? Um, nah. No. Nah. Um, I mean, the McCanns have already written their books. So I mean, there's, there's nothing I can really say. <laughs> Guys, so half the issue I've been having recently is my heat shield, but we stuck a new washer on it, holds it in place. And there's one just above the connection between the actual the mid pipe and the actual cat back itself well, well the back box rather but yeah he's just putting a new washer in there to hold that in place it's definitely worth looking i'd recommend if you do have one of these sts to go and have a look yourself because it's been causing unnecessary noise that ultimately i've been hearing a lot more now my rear end is stripped okay that sounded really gay <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had colonic irrigation, don't worry. Yeah. But all the same, um, we're working wonders and obviously a garage like this, where I'm able to pay less, means that I've got more time and you know, ultimately we notice more things that are going wrong. But being the finger blasting world champion, That's it. 40 years it. of practice. I believe you can. Yeah, we've, we've got it all fixed. Wow, no, look right. at that. No right. We've got no speed. noise. Alan, yeah. fist pump me, you absolute wizard. <sighs> right, guys, after three miserable failed attempts, we finally realized that because the bushes inside my lower control arms on the rear are stiff, it means the car won't go any lower. So what we actually did, the first time we did it correctly, and then we found out that it wasn't going low. So naturally we thought we'd done it wrong. So we did it the other way, took the shock absorbers out and adjusted them. That was the wrong way to do it. Um, yeah, so we basically spent hours in here wasting time. So we did actually get the front lowered by 10 mil, which is what we wanted. So that's looking somewhat tucked, but the rear we're just gonna have to sort out and we have to get new lower control arms at some point and sort that out. So I wanted to say a big thank you to Andy. <laughs> no, no I'm joking, your name's yeah, not Andy, yeah. it's Alan, it's okay. So either way guys, like I said, mo your motor club here in Plymouth, that's come it. and check it out. All the, all the uh, details will be linked in the description section below. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna move the car out, put it somewhere in a little bit more open space so you can see just how it looks. I'll go ahead and do that now and we'll join you guys in a second. Right, Alan, thank you very much for your assistance today. You've got a couple uh, of things to run with yeah. before I end the video. Yeah. But guys, as I said, I've lowered the front 10 millimeters with his help. As you can see, looks a little bit different. Now with the rear, we don't intentionally want it that high. We made a real effort today to lower it down. Yeah. But all the same, it appears the bushes in the lower control arms either need replacing or just the, bush, uh, the lower control arm needs replacing in itself. Now I'm going to adjust the actual uh, damper settings through here in a second but I wanted to ask you something now I've asked um, I've asked Alan this as well um, my car's mapped so it's going to run fairly rich anyway it's 13 degrees in here it's not been turned on in a few hours but is it normal to smoke this much I only turned it on three minutes ago maybe two or three minutes ago is it worth giving a rev or not well do you want to so that I can film it for the video just a little one not all the way up, obviously, otherwise it will just go bang.
But see, I'm not sure it's head gasket, obviously, because it's not blue smoke. But, you know, it might just be normal. I've asked people before and they've said it's normal. What do you reckon? I think it's, it's just the steam that's uh, coming out. You can see there's, there's moisture collecting on the bottom here. Is that moisture or fuel? Moisture. All the same, guys. I wanted to thank you very much for tuning in to another video. It's been a bit of a mess today. We've tried our best. But that's what it's all about. I have learnt literally so much today already just on fitting callovers. Not so much fitting them, but adjusting them. Yeah. So I'm going to say a big thank you to Alan. Like yeah. I said, go check Pleasure. out your motor club. The information will be in the description section below. Yeah. Alan, thank you very much. Pleasure. As always, thank yeah, you for your no help. Worries. Right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you haven't already, let me and Alan know exactly what you think in the comment section below. Smash a like, as obviously every single like he gets will support his business here at your motor club. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you're new, and we'll see you guys in the next video. GCN the PT, roll the outro. Hand, hand, hand on the lens, go on, hand on the lens, quick, hand on the lens. Oh, 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 oh,